today we start the first chapter of your second year physics that is electrostatics and this electrostatics consists of two words one is electron another is static electrostatic means rest electron at rest is known as electrostatics when the charged particle is at rest then this electrostatics we have to study especially in this electrostatics we have to first study about the charge what is charge we have to know it first charge is just an intrinsic property or we can say a fundamental property a fundamental property basically there exist two types of charges that is positive and negative which is given by benjamin franklin an american scientist in 1750 so we have to know the properties of charges the first property or the basic property of the charges is that same charge repel each other same charge repel each other and opposite charges and opposite charges attract each other opposite charges attract each other for example if two bodies are there a and b a is positively charged and b is negatively charged then these two body just attract each other but when two bodies are there a and b both are positively charged or yeah, both are negatively charged then the two bodies repel each other next thing what we have to know about the charge the charge is always associated with mass that means a particle which has charge which has charge it must have some mass it must have some mass charge means the electron since electron has some mass so when a body is the charging it has some mass but it does not matter that every body possessing some mass always be charged so this is one of the important property next property that is the quantization of charge this is a very basic property quantization of charge quanta means packet charge is always available in terms of packets of electrons if we want to remove one electron from a body then we can we have to remove the amount of the charge carried by the electron that means charge is an always an integral multiple of charge of the electron so charge of a body total charge of a body q equal to plus minus n n is any number of the integer 1 2 3 4 etc and e is the charge of the electron 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb we can remove one electron two electron three electron from a body but we cannot remove 1.5 electron from a body because it is available in packets that is the basic property quantization of the charge next we have to know another property that charge always obey the conservation principle what is conservation principle in a conservation principle tells us that in an isolated system in an isolated system the total charge of a body remains constant isolated system the total charge of a body total charge of a body remains constant remains constant for example suppose this is a system 
स्क्वेर क्यू वन क्यू टू क्यू थ्री माइनस क्यू फोर माइनस क्यू फाइव आर प्रेजेंट दिस अमाउंट ऑफ द चार्जेस आर प्रेजेंट वन द टोटल चार्ज ऑफ द सिस्टम इज जस्ट द एडिशन ऑफ द चार्जेस सिंस चार्जेस इज कलर क्वांटिटी simply addition we give the total amount of the charges of the system so this is one of the basic property that is it obey the conservation principle another thing is that the charge of a body do not depend upon its speed that means when a body is in faster motion the there is no effect upon the charge so this is all about the properties of the charges now we have to know how we can make a body charge how we can make a body charge that means we have to remove some electron from a body or we have to give some electron to a body we know electron is itself negative so when we remove some electron from a body it will be positively charged and when we give some electron to a body it will becomes negatively charged since electron has some mass so when we are just giving some electron to a body the mass of the body increases and when we are just removing some electron from a body the mass will decrease now we have to discuss about the method of charging basically there are three methods of charging uh, first one is friction second one is conduction and third one is induction third one is induction when we just rub to body then the body will get charged by rubbing to body we can develop charge that process is known as friction for example when a ebonite rod is rubbed with silk cloth then the ebonite rod gets positively charged and the silk gets negatively charged that means the ebonite rod loses some electron and the silk gains some electron that depends upon the nature of the substances then we have to discuss the method conduction in conduction process we have to take an uncharged body a suppose and a charged body b when we just connect these two body when the two bodies are in contact a and b are in contact suppose the b is negatively charged and this body is neutral then the electron just uh, flow from this body to this body and this uncharged body becomes negatively charged this is the method of conduction and in induction process we have to take a body uh, an un uncharged body plus minus uh, this there and we have to bring another charged body either negatively charged or positively suppose we are taking a negatively charged body near the uncharged body a then uh, the first property we know that same charge repel each other and opposite charges attract each other so what happens to the uncharged body all the negative all the positive charges comes near this negatively charged body and the negative charges comes to this side and we have to make arch uh, this side then we can get the whole body as positively charged that means in case of the induction we get different nature of the charge what body we have to take for charging the another body but in conduction process uh, we can find the same nature of the charge which body we have taken to charging that uncharged body so these are all about the methods of the charging